Today we're going to cover how you can plot geographic data using Deducer's Plot Builder and ggplot2. We are going to look at some wind farm data from the um, National Renewable Energy Laboratory and it's available online and we're going to be looking at the eastern half of the United States and land-based wind farms. I've gone ahead and loaded that data set in. Um, you can download it and load it in yourself and it will also be included in the plot um, the plot file that I will uh, include um, with this tutorial. Um, and basically here's what the data looks like. It has latitude and longitude for the the wind farms, their elevation, um, things like CF, which is the um, the output as a percentage of the total possible output, the area that the wind farm encompasses, the density of the uh, um, uh, the turbines, and the total milliwattage of the uh, farm. Uh, I have also included um, have preloaded um, data set call that I've called states which is uh, just uh, from the maps package um, and provides a, a path that will uh, define the states of the United States. Uh, we're going to need a couple packages for this and if you don't have these installed you can install them with the package installer. First of all we'll need to have deducer loaded. Uh, we will also need um, the maps uh, the um, map project and map tools. So we'll go ahead and close that up. So let's first go ahead and um, open up our plot builder. Let's just start with some uh, points here. And we're going to define our points by the latitude and longitude and we'll, why don't we cover them by the uh, the efficiency of the farm. So as we can see the uh, points on the right hand side are um, a bit less efficient than the points on the left hand side uh, but we really don't have a great idea about uh, where this is geographically. The lat and the longitude aren't particularly great cues. So um, we'll go ahead and add in a path. Now by default this is pathing through all of our points which isn't what we want. Uh, we want to go to our states. And we want the path to be defined by our states data set. And voila! Very easy to create a, um, uh, a geographic uh, representation of this. We see that uh, in the center of the, the nation um, we have very high uh, output per um, uh, per turbine um, and it's less efficient on the eastern seaboard. Uh, we can go ahead and maybe explore this a little bit and look at oh, let's say the area that the wind farms encompass and we see that um, the center has a lot more area because there's a lot more available um, land density of the wind farms is perhaps a bit higher but on the uh, on the eastern but it's pretty pretty similar across the board and the installed uh, milliwatts the total installation size is higher in the center where there's higher output which makes complete sense so let's go back to our original plot uh, one thing that we might want to change here is the uh, projection um, and we can do that very easily by changing the coordinate system. So uh, we'll add in a coord map here, which will give us by default a Mercantor projection, uh, which is a lot nicer. However, we can also um, provide uh, a, a, a number of different projections that we can use. We'll do a sinusoidal. And we got a great sort of uh, bird's eye view of the United States and uh, uh, all of the wind farms that are located on it. And um, so we can save this plot so that we can open it again. 
and we will save it as um, wind farms dot ggp and we'll save it with the data and uh, we can then go in in another instance and open up this ggp data file that we've created and it will open up the plot builder just as we see it here it includes all of the data so you don't have to worry about that um, and i will put that up online for everyone to check out